Look at these creative paintings. Talented youngsters have channeled their dreams and aspirations into artworks. Earlier this year, China and Africa jointly launched the My Dream painting competition for African youth. Young artists from 42 countries submitted over 2,000 paintings, with 50 earning the top prizes. The top 10 entries were transported to the China Space Station in May. And recently, China's Shenzhou 16 crew showcased these African paintings to the world. So what dreams do these African artists hold? And how will Africa and China work together to boost the collaboration in the space sector? Today, we'll engage in a special discussion with distinguished guests. We are very pleased to have with us today Peter Oshnoma from Nigeria and uh, Sinovu Mugula from South Africa, uh, Mr. Ambassador uh, Ibrahima Sori Sila, Ambassador of Senegal to China, and Mr. Cui Yufu, uh, the Chief Designer of Mr. Sat2 Satellite of China Academy of Space Technology. And also finally, our uh, technonaut Chen Dong. Uh, thank you all for being here with us today. Uh, let's start with our African friends first. So uh, Sino and Peter, big congratulations on being uh, among the top winners of Tianhe Awards. Uh, firstly, Sino, uh, let's talk about your painting first. Uh, your painting is called Harmony, which includes uh, elements from Africa and also China. So can you tell us more about your painting and why is that? What is the meaning behind this painting? All right, so I'm currently studying Chinese medicine and acupuncture at the University of the Western Cape. And um, when we start learning, we're taught that uh, yin and yang are the key to prosperity. So I wanted to incorporate elements from China and I also wanted to incorporate elements from South Africa um, to show that the two countries, even though they are uh, different from each other, but yet they can be complementary so that we can create a better world together. And Peter, so let's talk about your painting. Uh, it's called Shared Aspirations. And uh, what are the inspirations behind this painting? Uh, how do you feel when you know that you got the first prize? Uh, knowing I won was very delightful. I was happy more than I can imagine. It wasn't something I expected to win. But for the painting, I used a lot of circles. For me, circles are very important. They show unity between things. If you notice, a circle goes around and around. It has no edges. So I wanted a situation where both Nigeria and China, both Africa and China can be together in a circle, showing unity, showing their sharing aspirations to achieve a goal together. Wow, because Peter <coughs> painted a female African astronaut. Mm -hmm. And here we have our Chinese taekwondo Chen Dong. Uh, so Mr. Chen Dong, you visited uh, Africa in 2019. And also last year during your Shenzhou 14 mission, you also talked with some African teenagers. So what's your impression about African teenagers? Uh, I was in 2019, uh, 在和非洲孩子们这种交流互动的时候可以看得出他们对太空非常的向往回答非洲孩子们提问的时候也同样的出现了我觉得他们非常优秀有思想有才华有梦想我很高兴也很荣幸能够用我自己的方式来帮助他们努力勇敢地去追寻自己的梦想呃 uh, Ambassador So this is the first time a China's Tiangong Space Station host an international painting exhibition 
How do you feel about these African paintings, and what's your perspective about this event? Let me first, uh, Mr. Wu, thank you for your kind invitation, and uh, I would like also uh, to congratulate our young fellow Africans. Yeah. You know, they come from Nigeria and South Africa, but they represent all the African continent. Mm -hmm. In the sense of, uh, uh, we are very proud of our partnership with China when it's come to develop our relations on science, technology, you know, education also sector. And as also ambassador of Senegal, we are in charge of coordinating all this sector for the FOCAC. And what they did really is a, a great achievement because having been selected among all the uh, African maybe fellows and having your painting showcased in this station of Chengdu, I think it's like uh, the name of the meaning of uh, the station of uh, Changzhong, I think is yeah. the heaven, the heaven space. Mm -hmm. So it's like they are in the heaven and maybe they don't measure the, the importance of that. But for us, because we are here in China since more than one year now, we are following also all the achievement of uh, the Chinese astronauts, the taikonauts, and really it's a great achievement. And we hope that one day we will have Chinese and Africans together yeah. going to the space. This is very exactly. important to us. Mr. Tsui Yufu, uh, as a chief designer of Mr. Sat2 satellite, uh, tell us more about the progress of this satellite, and uh, especially uh, you have been to Africa several times. What's about the uh, latest uh, development of uh, space technology in Egypt? Uh, now I'm cooperated with uh, uh, Egypt for the Mesa 2, especially that this satellite has been developed by both sides mm -hmm. uh, for nearly three years. At the, end of, at the end of this year, the satellite shall be launched. This satellite was jointly developed by both sides, from China side and Egypt side. So in the recent years, I, from my perspective, the space technology was developed very fast in Egypt. The satellites should be launched in orbit. On the ground, also there is this kind of AITC. That means satellites shall be examined, integrated, tested in the AITC by themselves. So this kind of hard power was constructed in Africa, in Egypt. Secondly, soft power, the human resources. We know human resources is very important in the space area. That is the key point. Based on this project, the Swiss satellite development team was constructed for them. Mm. And also I hope much more projects shall be pushed forward in Africa. Indeed. That's impressive. This satellite uh, means a lot for Egypt <coughs> and also for China. Uh, we are all looking forward to a successful launch of the Mr. Sat 2 satellite by the end of this year. Uh, indeed, a total of uh, 18 Taconauts have entered the space. Uh, so, Sino, what do you know about China's manned space missions and which Taconaut may impress you most? Okay. Well, I do know that uh, China is planning on transporting astronauts to the moon by 2030, and they are planning on using a spacecraft that is partially reusable mm -hmm. with a new uh, rocket that is known as Long March 10. And with that device, it will help to la launch the spacecraft. And I know of two uh, technotes that are women that have been up to space before. They are known as uh, Liu Yang and Wang. Yang Ping. Um, they are such a huge inspiration to me, especially because they are in such a male dominated field. And um, I just want to encourage the youth, especially the young females, that they should strive towards their dreams. I have a great sex teacher who used to tell us all the time. I went to an all girls school when I was younger. Um, she said that our attitudes determine our altitudes. Mm. So I just want to encourage people that no matter what you are currently studying or what you are planning on doing in your life, you have the power to um, ultimately uh, strive towards your dreams. Uh, so now let's turn to Mr. Chen Dong. Uh, you have uh, <coughs> participated in two manned missions, the Shenzhou 11 <coughs> and also Shenzhou 14. Uh, could you share your feelings and differences uh, you experienced during these missions? 
。二零一六年我执行的是神舟十一号任务，在轨飞行三十三天。呃，二零二二年我执行了神舟十四号任务，呃，在轨半年。呃，两次飞天，我觉得相同的是，呃，这种美轮美奂的美景啊，非常的震撼。呃，所以不管在任何时候，这种对太空的嗯探索的梦想不会改变。呃，两次任务呢也有很多的不同点。啊、呃，我执行神舟十一号任务的时候是，呃，进驻的是中国真正意义上的第一个啊、呃、空间实验室啊、呃，天宫二号。嗯，它的空间不大，那么我们喝的水，呃，净化空气用的吸附材料，以及我们的生活物资。只能够支撑我们生活一个月，所以那次任务感觉时间过得就非常快，啊，就是感觉这个意犹未尽啊。那么，呃，神舟十四号空间站任务就完全不一样了啊。我们用的是再生环控生保，所有的东西都可以重复利用，这大大节省了资源。那我们的空间站比天宫二号的空间也大了很多。还有我们货船的补给，所以我们的工作生活啊都非常的惬意。我们在上面完成了更多的呃空间科学实验。呃，在轨期间呢，我们也迎来了问天梦天实验舱，啊，见证了中国空间站 T 字构型的组装完成。呃，同时也迎来了神舟十五号乘组，啊，实现了六名航天员在轨驻留。呃。回想过去的十三年，我两次执行飞天任务，让我深刻的感受到了，呃，中国载人航天的快速发展和中国人对航天梦想的追求，啊、呃，我我也非常的希望我们能为啊、呃、人类探索宇宙贡献我们的中国力量。Ah,、uh, so Peter, and now you're sitting next to Chen Dong, and we are now talking about these missions. Do you have any question to ask Takuna Chendo? Yes, I do have some questions. So, what does one need to do to qualify to be an astronaut and also work in the China Space Station? 呃，要想成为一名合格的航天员，其实是，呃，挺难的。首先要经过我们的临床医学的检查，呃，生理机能的选拔、心理选拔，还有呃特殊环境的耐力和适应性选拔，啊，还要。考察，呃，知识的储备和技能掌握情况，啊，那此外呢，还要经过呃全面系统的训练和多项的考核评定，通过之后才能成为一名呃合格的航天员。但是我觉得也不用太担心，因为在神舟十六号乘组中，我们国家第一个戴眼镜的航天员上天了。那么这也说明，随着我们航天呃技术的不断的进步。呃，特别是对我们的非职业航天员，啊，呃，这样可以吸引更多的人才来参与航天，来创造更多的科研成果和科研价值，啊，所以如果你有啊这样的航天梦想，嗯，就要保持良好的身体素质和心理素质，还要掌握更多的知识和技能，我相信是有机会实现你的飞天梦想。And uh, Mr. Ambassador, we know Senegal is also developing its own space uh, technologies and uh, missions. We know China's space station is open to the whole world. And what opportunities do you think that it can provide to other countries? Yeah, it's a good question because of, uh, I think we have roughly more than 10 African countries which already launched their own satellite uh, in the space, sometimes in partnership with the North or the South. And Senegal is now on the list. I mean, since 2019, we are um, we set up a, a space program mm -hmm. to be sure that maybe by next year, uh, maybe Senegal will start launching its own the satellite. First satellite. The first one. But as you know, that's why we we are going step by step. First of all, we are focusing on the uh, the production of what we call the nano satellite, at least, and to use it for. Uh, the use of our own development, like uh, to prevent the natural disease, that's what's happening in Libya or in other countries. I think by using it in a very efficient way, you can develop your agriculture, making uh, uh, management regarding the disasters in Africa. 
and of course to combat the climate change. And our vision is that most of the African countries now are setting up like a, a space program. But the problem, based on our own experience, is that it's better to gather our own means to have one African space administration, as we are doing with other, other sector. And the, the second issue also, as also he said, is related to the, uh, the human resources. In our program, we started in 2019, and still we are, I mean, training our engineers to send them, some of, some of them are in the, the, the north of Europe, uh, not quoting any country. But China really can benchmark with us because it's easier, based on what we are seeing here, to have the transfer of technology coming from China, basically. Because I'm here also, I, I'm discussing with the officials of China, and even President Xi, uh, last, last FOCAC meeting, he announced the fact that uh, we will have the center of China and Africa for the remote sensing satellite. Now it's functioning. When you talk with some countries, they think that it's just a, a privileged countries which need to send satellites in the space. No, China, uh, I think, started in the 60s. And the first astro astronaut or taikonaut sent was in 2003. <coughs> for us also, we need more time, of course, but I'm sure that we are committed and with the support of the Chinese administration, uh, we, can, we can make it together. Indeed, because uh, China has announced that in the future, more international projects are mm -hmm. welcome to yes. uh, be uh, conducted aboard the China Space Station. Uh, so, Mr. Tsui, you returned from Egypt this June uh, after being to Africa so many times. What's your assessment of the African space development? This time, for this mission too, the several models satellite was constructed in Egypt AITC. Mm -hmm. That is very important. So, they have this kind of ability to how to manufacture a satellite. After the satellite was designed, after the unit of satellite was delivered to you, mm -hmm. how to integrate it, how to test satellite. Uh, the performance was okay, everything is okay. Then after that, we shall perform the EVT. Mm -hmm. I just mentioned the environment verification test. Also in the AITC, in this center, they have this kind of ability to do this kind of, perform this kind of environment test by themselves. That means this kind of team was constructed for them. Also, I have this kind of dream. This kind of talent, this kind of uh, uh, infrastructure shall be constructed in much more countries in Africa. Indeed. That is my dream. I think also it's kind of dream from China. Mm. In recent years, breakthroughs have been made in space cooperation between China and Africa using China's remote sensing data. The two sides carry out cooperation in the fields of disaster prevention and mitigation, radio astronomy, satellite navigation and positioning and precision agriculture. The complete satellite assembly integration and test center built by Egypt with China's help has laid solid foundations for Egypt's aerospace industry. China has also launched satellites for African countries, such as Algeria, Egypt, Ethiopia, Nigeria, and Sudan. China has increased the Beidou system's global service capacity by establishing the Beidou Cooperation Mechanism Forum with African Union and completing the first overseas Beidou center in Tunisia. China has also conducted satellite navigation cooperation with countries such as South Africa and Algeria, and signing a memorandum of understanding between the China Manned Space Engineering Office and the South African National Space Agency on Manned Space Flight Cooperation. Uh, because this is uh, my dream painting competition, tell us more about your dreams. What are your dreams? You have uh, expressed your dreams through the artwork. Okay. Personally, I'm studying information technology and I really want to study more about the whole idea of processing information as really complicated formats. For example, there are a lot of data that are sent into space and received from space. This cannot be achieved by just easy softwares or computers. 
this requires high-end programming and a lot of attention to details. So I want to study more about information technology and also, if possible, work with space agencies to see how information or data collected from space can be used to better the lives of humans here on Earth. What does this event mean to you? This event is like a stepping stone because there are so many dreams in Africa that are not yet implemented. I see paintings or pictures as, there's a common saying that says, uh, a picture tells more than a thousand words. So if you have just one picture, you can explain it to a thousand people without having to say anything. My paintings are here in China telling stories, in Africa telling stories without me saying a single word. So we can see the power of pictures like this. So at the same point, at the same time, if more paintings like this or more dreams are being built in the hearts of kids, more and more dreams are going to be realized and it creates more opportunities for everybody to chase their dreams. And uh, Sino, uh, can you share us about a little bit more about your dream in the future? Do you also wish to work in the space sector? Because I know that you have studied traditional Chinese medicine for several years. So what is your dream in the future? Um, my dream is to help as many people as I possibly can and to hopefully collaborate with some of the African traditional healers so that we can all come up with solutions to create a better health um, industry for all. And if I was given the opportunity to go up to space, I would really appreciate that. I think it would be an opportunity of a lifetime. And if not, I would give support to those who will be going. And uh, Sino, what does this event mean for you? Um, this event means for me uh, that, first and foremost, more exposure for young African, uh, uh, the youth in Africa, and the potential that we have to strive towards our dreams, and for us to also be able to work with other people in different countries, because there's so much for us to learn from one another, and we have so much potential. So with all that we have, it will be great to collaborate so that we can create a better world for all. So, Mr. Chen Dong, China Manned Space Agency has announced that uh, foreign astronauts <coughs> and scientists uh, uh, can apply to work on China's space station. Uh, the preparations are undergoing. So, what's your message to uh, foreign friends who uh, aspire to work and live uh, on the China space station? I especially hope that the foreign friends of the Chinese space station can 中国空间站访问，啊，探索宇宙是人类共同的事业。啊，我希望我们大家一起为人类的未来做出贡献。So, um, Mr. Ambassador, we know that many African countries want to develop their own space technologies, including satellite, uh, rockets, and other applications. So, what do you think are the opportunities and challenges for the Africans? space development? Yes, um, we are concerned about the development of our space program in Africa in general. And with uh, China, we already have a framework of cooperation, including the satellite sector within the FOCAC program. And you know, Africa, uh, we have a population of 1.4 billion. More than 70% are under three, three, uh, 35 years old. And it's our duty also as, I mean, the, the, the public government or public administration. For instance, in Senegal, six months ago, we have now this, um, what we call the special administration in charge of space studies. It's the first step, of course. Just to have a lot of uh, Senegalese engineers to be trained. And uh, here we really received a good and positive feedback from Chinese institutions, as I said the Center for China-Africa Cooperation on Satellite Remote sen Sensing. They are eager to transfer this technology. But it's up also to us because when you are united, I mean, the vision is more clear and uh, in, in terms of implementing or achievements, it's better than if Senegal, Rwanda, Egypt, or, uh, you know, separately, we try to set up our own program. So this is our main challenge, but we are working very hard. And I believe that maybe by, uh, 2030, you will see more African countries joining these uh, this, this trends because technology and development is not just for the de developed countries, but in Africa, really, things are moving in the right way. And 
I think with the support of uh, countries like China, friendly countries, I mean, we can make a lot of progress on that. This is our, our, our wish, and I, I'm sure that we can make it. Great. And uh, last question for Mr. Tui, uh, because uh, you have worked with many African uh, engineers, scientists, and also young professionals. And what can be done to further boost the collaboration between China and Africa? Every year I will attend, attend the space, uh, Africa Space Conference every year. Education is a very important channel for the cooperation. Space technology training is very important for the engineering. This kind of training is better for the know-how. It's very important how to design a satellite, how to optimization the satellite, how to manufacture, mm -hmm. how to launch, how to maintain it, how to utilize it. Yeah. So this kind of training shall be held. You know, every year we have much more chances for this kind of training. I also hope, hope more in the near end, our students come to China to attend this kind of training. Thirdly, also from my perspective, my own perspective, this kind of project cooperation. So China, especially China space, have this kind of dream to do this kind of different levels of cooperation with the different countries to provide this kind of service for every country. You just mentioned the climate change. It's very important for the current humankind. So before we end our today's talks, uh, the final questions go to our African friends. So Sino and Peter, um, if you had the chance to go to work and live on the China Space Station, what kind of work or experiments would you like to be involved in? Since I am studying to be in the health industry, I would like to work on experiments that would help combat diseases and hopefully we would find new solutions to do that and um, that would be a great opportunity. And it would be nice to see um, what is out there that could help us um, uh, venture out into the future of medicine and the future possibilities of what we can do. New solutions yes. for treatment. Yes. And what about you, Peter? So this will be my, the perfect opportunity for me to explore how different things, artworks and art styles can react there in space. So it's more like trying different elements and see how they are standard or how well they stay while they're out there in space. So it's more like a uh, fun experiment to see how paints will react in space. Studying the whole aspect of painting, art, creating art in space is a whole new Creating new level. art in space? In space, yes. Ah. So paint definitely won't stay that well. So I want to see how it reacts in space to see how we can add more art styles back here on Earth. Uh, especially under that uh, zero, zero gravity, gravity environment. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, we're looking forward to your painting. Indeed, uh, the dreams have the power to inspire us to move forward. And our dreams may change as we grow, but with your contribution and efforts, China and Africa will work more closely in the space sector. I will end today's discussion with the good memories of our African friends' first trip in China. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is my first international trip, so I was very excited. But I guarantee you it will not be my last, because my trip and experience here has been so life-changing in the sense that I've met so many nice people, seen so many magnificent places, so I would definitely come back to China. So space, education, medicine, technological advancement between China and Africa is big and it's it's in the right direction so far. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.